What is up, everybody? It has been a long time. I need to check the date. Three months since I've last made a video. Um, this summer, I was out of the game. I was up in Algonquin Park in Ontario running a summer camp and um, had a spectacular time. Changed my focus a little bit to being more outdoors and uh, doing what I love to do, which is canoe tripping, leading trips with kids. And now we're back in Montreal, we're visiting. I'm taking a year off of school to pursue either the video making, the vlogs, um, and just playing in general. So hopefully that goes well for me. I'm thinking of linking up with Gil Jack Poker in Florida and LA on the 26th of October. So that would be absolutely a dream come true if that were to happen. But yeah, without any further ado, I'm very sorry again um, for not uploading as much as I said I would. Didn't expect to go back to camp this summer, but we're here now and I hope this video is a good one. I'm on my way to the session right now. It's been a while. Let's get back into it. The session starts at 627 and in the first semi-interesting hand, it's about Half an hour in, I have pocket aces in the small blind. There's five limps to me, and I decide to raise to 15. Could probably even go to 20 here. The big blind now goes all in for 22, and it folds to the button who calls the 22. I cannot re-raise and open the action. My only option is to call, so that's what I do. The board comes four, five, six rainbow. On a board like this, we are almost always super far ahead, and Probably should be betting small anyway. However, I decide to check. She does not have much money behind. I think she has 50 left. Um, I check. She checks back. The turn is a two. This really does not change anything. So now I need to start putting money in. I bet 20. She snap folds. And the other guy has jack five of spades. River comes the queen of hearts. We win a decent pot. Maybe I should have gone small bet, small bet, jam on that river to win the max, but... That's what I did. I'm getting better, I swear. This next hand happens the following hand. So the literal next shuffle. Um, and we happen to look down at the exact same hand we had last time. Pocket aces, I'm now on the button. This has never happened to me before, so that's pretty awesome. There's only one limp in this hand, so I decide to raise to 10. And we get two callers to a flop of 699 rainbow. Big blind checks, and the cutoff now decides to donk for $10. This is the lady who was in the hand last time as well. She only has 40 behind, so I'm really not that worried. Either way, we're either way ahead, way behind. I call, and the turn is the eight of diamonds. Kind of scary because the straight completes, but she shouldn't have too many of those anyway. She now checks, so I'm confident we have the best of it. She only has 40 behind. I decide to bet really small for 10 she thinks for maybe three seconds, goes all in. I just snap call it for beat or beat. She so shows six four of diamonds, drawing to two outs. River comes a brick. And we get back-to-back -back aces and back-to-back -back scoops in all-in pots. Too bad they happened to be short stacks because that would have been just absolutely spectacular. Still really awesome. Back-to-back -back hands. <laughs> now, about an hour and a half later, I guess that's what happens. The poker gods give you eight back, aces back to back and then do not want to give you another hand for an hour and a half. But we get king 10 of diamonds. There's two limps and I raise to 10 from the cutoff. The button now raises to 30 and she just does not have a three bet bluff uh, range. So her hand is definitely better. However, this is me we're talking about. I am not going anywhere with this hand. We go heads up to a gorgeous flop of queen nine seven with two diamonds. We have a gutter to a straight flush and an over. I check and she goes all in. I snap call, but it's only $86. She asks if you, we can run it three times. I agree. Let's see. Three times? Sure. Open up. Uh, I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you are ahead. <laughs> Jack of, uh, Jack of, oh, there you go, there's one. Second word straight. Second oh, word. Second word flash. You forget about. You, you forget about. Why are you calling with? Sorry. Shop? I don't understand. We can shop if you want. 
Yeah. What? You want to see the, the third or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chop? Yeah, we'll run it three times. Chop? Like we chopped the third one? Yeah. So you make $10 back? No, no, no. no, no, no. Let, let, just, just run, just run, just run, just run. No, no, just run, just run. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's sick. I think I folded for the next three hours after that hand. Nothing really interesting happened, so we're gonna make this a two-part video, but racking up here, booked a really good win, really happy with the session, loads of fun, but not gonna hold you here for too long. Let's just get into the second part. We're gonna make this a two-parter because um, the really big hands were all limped to me. I was in the big line with like Jack five off multiple times and uh, wasn't filming. So I didn't think it was that important. Ended up stacking multiple players, just getting full houses and good hands. So um, we're gonna make this two-parter. Let's just get right into it. Day two, second session. I looked down at ace jack of diamonds about 30 minutes in. There's a straddle and an open to 15. This is a reasonable squeeze spot and I'm on the button. So I raised a 50. The initial raiser makes the call, so heads up to a flop of 2-5-6 with two spades. I have a pretty big range advantage here. We shouldn't have much to worry about except for some spade combos. I'm trying to put max pressure because I have not made a move yet this session. Looking to set up an SPR of about one on the turn. So I bet big for 60. He makes the call, and the turn is pretty good for us, or at least our range. It's the king of diamonds. Once he checks here, I think this is a great spot to make him fold out his medium pairs. Mostly that's what I think he has here. I go all in for 130, and within a few seconds he actually puts in the call, so that's just terrible news. We're likely dead to an ace. The river is the nine of spades, and he shows queens. Maybe I should have waited to jam the river and it might have gotten through, but I don't think it's easy to put someone on queens in this spot. We did so well on day one, won so much, punted away our first bullet here, now we're in the hole, we need to make it back. For this next one, let's move up back to the premiums, like the other session. I have pocket kings in the $5 straddle, there's an early raise to $25, and folds to me, I elect to raise to 80 Now, very interesting dynamics here. The guy to the guy's left, who's not even in the hand, says all in question mark, like, as a question, he's like, all in? And the guy says, sure, why not? I'm all in. And I was just, I just kind of laughed and called very, very fast. He asked to run it three times. I'm in the mood, so I agree. And he shows king, queen of spades. Can we run back what we did and win all three boards? Let's see. It's okay, I'm behind. I need a flush. I had seven, nine. <laughs> yeah. The king is uh oh, there's one. Oh, you have a flipper. It's good for you. Very, it's really, very, really good. Very, very, very yeah, good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Two again. It's really good as well. He won't give it to me. He might. Why not? He doesn't. He doesn't. Why not you? He loses. He loses. He loses. No, you're dead. Three hands, you lose. Well, that's not even close. It's the first one. Back-to-back -back winning all three boards. I know we were massively favorited, um, but still feels really, really cool. For this next one, as you see, I have King Jack off on the button and raised to $20 after a straddle and one limper. The big blind looks surprised, and he calls. So does the straddler, so we go three ways to a decent flop of 10-9 deuce with two diamonds. Gutter, two overs, and a backdoor flush opportunity. I'm thinking of checking this back um, multi-way, however, I don't even get the chance because the small blind leads for 25. The straddler folds, and I contemplate folding, but we have a lot going on. I'm, I'm good to peel one here. And he's pretty aggro, so I flat with intentions of bluffing a lot of turns. The turn is the bink queen of spades, giving us the absolute nuts. He continues for another bet, but it's pretty small, it's only 25. This just seems pretty weak, but I have to raise here. Need to get more money in, he has a lot behind. I raised to 60, which is actually pretty small, and after 10 seconds, he clicks it back to 130. 
Now, I was pretty surprised to see this, but I know he's never folding for the remaining 70 or 80 that he had in his stack. So I just move all in, and he snaps, and he says, I have three queens. I say that's no good, show my hand, and I have no idea how these players are so stink. We needed to fade a board pair on the river, and we do. It's the four of diamonds, complete brick, and we win a massive pot here. I apologize for the way these are being filmed. I know it's uh, already when the cards are revealed, but I just don't think they're going to be interesting hands until the action gets going, so I'm pretty late to film. It's also super weird when you're mid-hand and you pull out your phone and start filming because they just know something's going on. Either it's really strong or really weak, but anyhow... This next one, king nine off. We are against the exact same player from the last hand who had the who just called my queen's preflop. I am in the five dollar straddle. The guy who we just lost we just won with queens opens to ten. There's three callers, and I like to call as well. The flop is pretty great. It comes king ten nine with two hearts. Big blind checks, I check, and the razor continues for ten. It folds to me, and we have a very easy raise here. I raised to 50, and he now 3-bet jams the flop, and it covers me. I think it was like $220. I tank, but I don't think I can really ever fold to this guy. He's just pretty crazy. At the end of the day, I calls, and he tells us the bad news. He flopped the straight with queen jack off. We need a ton of help, but there's absolutely zero sweat. We see a 9 on the turn. He's drawing absolutely dead, and we scoop another massive one against him. This next one, I actually have no notes on this hand. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I raised to 20 from the button. The same guy from the last two hands just open shoves for, I don't even see how much that is, maybe 160. I have pocket kings and I snap call. Le this is just, let's end his career. Kings, again. Kings, I have six. Uh-oh, drop the fork, no worries. Kings are good. We cannot get enough of this guy. This next hand is against the exact same player. This is four hands in a row. Um, I have eight six of diamonds, and he's in the straddle. I'm in the cutoff and limped for some reason. The crazy player just goes all in for 74. There's another opponent who shrugs. She's an older lady and calls all in for 73. And I go into the tank for like 30 seconds, just, am I going to gamble this? At the end of the day, I gamble. And you're never going to guess what we're up against. Oh my god, no, I have diamonds too, I'd be smoked. What do I have again? Oh, open-ended? Oh, bank eight? I have an eight. I have a straight, I think. Good for me. I have a pocket. No way. Oh my god. When it pays off, man, that's ridiculous. Oh. Who would have thought we could book two winning sessions in the same video? Simply not me. I don't actually think that's ever been done before by me. Um, we played times it's like nine right now. I don't know. We played for a long time today, probably like six six and a half hours. Um in for 400, lost the first bullet pretty fast. And then very swingy session, there was that crazy guy. Lost a mass, like a $800 pot with pocket nines to him and that was like why we swung so much. But we were up a lot and just got pretty carded at the end, started slowly losing, slowly like losing confidence as well. So, um, no worries, but still booked a profit in for 400, out for 629. Why is that a little, oh, it's a push. Yeah, so good for us. Again, so good to be back. Thank you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Thanks for watching Dees Poker. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you soon for another video.